going on folks welcome back to the real legend of gaming we have a very special video today we have a collaboration with clashroyalepedia.com that's right the great folks over there have reached out to me for a sparky deck and you know the real legend of gaming shall deliver so check it out we're going with an incredible sparky deck that i spent some good time yesterday testing out I uh, had different variations of a Sparky deck, but at the end, this one here actually won a good couple matches in the Legendary Arena. So let's go. So, I know everyone thinks Sparky is weak, right? I think so as well. I think throughout all the changes and all the metas and everything, the Sparky has disappeared rapidly. Uh, it was a very powerful... At some point, no one knew how to stop it. It was the most insane legendary card that everybody wanted. But then once people figured out how to counter the card, it became so non-existent in decks, especially in um, higher arenas. Now with the recent meta, Sparky is making a comeback. I noticed this myself during a lot of matches. And one day I saw Sparky used three times in one day. I was like, oh, this is weird. This is... Sparky's not making a comeback. It's impossible. So when the folks over at Clash Royale PD reached out to me, I knew it was real. I knew the hype was real around Sparky. And I was excited because my Sparky is pretty powerful. It's almost level 3. So here you have it, folks. Now, one of the most important things with Sparky is you have to have a tank. In this case here, I decided to use the Giant. Low Elixir cost. High HP. High attack. Perfect for the push. Now what I use in this deck to complement the giant is the Mega Minion, the Executioner, the Musketeer. So it's able to take care of ground and air troops. Very good combination. And those three are my cornerstones in a lot of my decks right now. Especially the Executioner being what I call the Meta King. Now because the Elixir count is high, I use the Elixir Collector um, to take care of any hordes on the ground like goblins spear goblins skeleton army and soon the goblin gang we got the log so check out the deck we start the push right there with the giant we got the mega minion and executioner cleaning up whatever they can and the tornado spell which i didn't even tell you about because that's the secret to this deck you see how it just pulls everything in one line it allows your executioner to do massive damage with one swing of the axe. And I didn't even mention how Sparky plays a part in this deck. Once you have your push fully lined up, you bring in the Sparky, you tornado everything together, boom. That's what happens. And you'll see that very shortly in one of the videos. So, we're able to counter against tanks. We're able to counter against minion hordes. We're able to counter against buildings as well. And that's something that in the past, an Inferno Tower was very difficult to handle. Not with this deck. With the Mega Minion in front of anything, it could absorb a lot of the damage while the Muskies and Executioner just sweep things up. And look at Sparky. Take out the lead barbs with one hit. I know you guys saw that. Uh, Ice Golem right after. That is why Sparky is legit. It's a walking thunder spell. And that's what I want you guys to realize. You need to use Sparky as if it was a thunder spell to take out any high level troops or to clear out a massive pack. As long as you think about it like that, you will not be disappointed when Sparky is wasted. Same elixir cost, difference is it keeps rolling, rolling, rolling and knocking out whatever is in the way. So we're going with a fresh new video here. Start the push up with the giant again. Throw down Sparky because he's throwing down a bowler and a Megan minion there to kind of take out anything that gets dropped. So if you look, there's an executioner coming. So we got to be very careful. So tornado that up. Sparky it up. Bang. And that's fine if the goblins take out the Sparky because we'll log it up and take out the tower. And if you look at it, the elixir cost was an excellent trade-off. Uh, we got rid of an executioner and a bowler with one hit from a sparky. 
So we got some lead bars pushing there. We're not worrying much because we got Executioner. And we're able to do chip damage along with the Musketeers. So now we're forming up another push. We got our support deck on right there with the Mega Minion. And there goes the Execution again. With the Ice Wizard, tornado it up. There we go. Not bad, right? Took a lot of damage from them. And we'll use the lot to finish. So the Ice Wizard barely on life support. So we're not worried about that. So now we can build up our count. Executioner again. So you see it plays very smoothly. You have enough cards to help you defend and counter against a lot of things. I'm telling you. I put a lot of thought into making this deck because at first, the minion hordes were wrecking the Sparky. So I said, let me throw in the Executioner. But then I had nothing to go against the Lava Hound. So I threw in the Musketeer. Then I had trouble with building, so I threw in a Mega Minion. And there you have it, folks. A well thought out deck. And here we go. We're going to use that Sparky to take out the Executioner. We have enough time. We got the Elite Barbers on the other side. We'll log them away with the knockback damage. And we can finish up with the Mega Minion. So Sparky's still rolling with the execution in front. Tornado, everything there. So one thing to point out there is the tornado timing. That Skeleton Army was dropped after, so there's not much we can do. But make sure you time it right so that you can get all the pack into one swoop. And uh, you see here, we won this deck here. Now, if you're looking for a deck that will make your opponent rage quit, this is one right here too. Because people will get frustrated just because one is Sparky and everyone feels so confident when they see a Sparky come out. Because no one's afraid of Sparky anymore. So they're like, alright, no problem. I got this. I'm going to stop Sparky. But they can't. Because you have enough support around Sparky that they're not able to. You hit them with a flavor and a flow that they've never seen before in their life. It's like getting knocked out in a prize fight and not knowing what to do. And this is how it is. Alright, so there you have it, folks. You got yourself a nice Sparky deck. I myself wasn't using Sparky before. You already know I'm incorporating this into the deck. Shout out to the folks at ClashRoyalePedia.com. Amazing website. Definitely recommend to check it out. It got me through my first couple of arenas until I started doing this thing myself. So as always, please like and subscribe. Share the video. It helps out the community. Brings more great people for us to have fun and enjoy great content. All right. Peace out.